Do you think the older generation approves of you? The older generation? Yeah, older people. Do they take a more censorious view? I, I don't know. I think that the intelligent older generation with a sense of humor does. But I think people my age, there are, there are plenty of people my age that don't appreciate me or approve of me, and, and younger. I don't think it's just the older generation. What, what does that make you do? Does it make you annoyed, or does it make you uh, uh, want to change? It doesn't do either. It makes me laugh. If people are really annoyed, it's one thing to not just not... If you don't like somebody, you don't like them. Okay, I don't like this person's music. Okay, so I don't listen to it. But if people are really annoyed and really vocal about it, and they get upset and they rant and rave, then I, it makes me laugh because obviously I've touched something in them that they're, that they're having a hard time dealing with, and I think it's very telling about them that they're so annoyed by me, you know? Your, your whole image, how much of your whole performance is tongue-in-cheek? How much of it's done with this? Is it all done with a sense of humor? I think, yeah, I do. I think it's uh, uh, a lot of what I do is, is, well, not a sense of irony, you know? I think it's good to see someone, a performer or whatever, and say, now, does she mean that or doesn't she? Because it makes you ask questions, and it makes you see that there are two sides to every story. And everything isn't cut and dry, everything's black, everything isn't black and white, you know. So, and I think that, I try to make that clear in my, in my work by being tongue-in-cheek. So, I, I never want to be taken completely seriously. I think that that's the death of anyone. Of course. Well, that, that is the problem, isn't it? That people think you mean it most of the time, don't they? Do you mean everything you say? I mean everything I say, but I'm, in terms of like my performance and stuff, I mean, Certainly in my last show, m much of what I did was tongue-in-cheek and, and uh, I mean, I'm being very sincere with you right now, but when I present a, a performance, for instance, and many times in my song, there's a sense of irony that, that I, I, most intelligent people see it. And, and the people that don't, well, they don't. I mean, everyone can't love everything that you do. Of course. Or understand. Even. That's right. So the, the people are enjoying your performance, but sometimes on two different levels. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. What kind of a businesswoman are you? Do you think you're a, a good businesswoman? Yes, I am. I mean, I, I pay attention to everything that happens. I'm, a, you know, a detail freak. I know everything that's going on. Um, I'm, I'm very bad at mathematics. I mean, I can't, you know, when, it's very hard for me to sit still with my business manager while he's telling me about, you know, this account and that account and interest on this and or, or how we have to invest our money over here it's so boring to me do you like dealing with the men in the suits i like dealing with anybody that's got a brain so whether they're wearing a, a suit or a bathing suit yeah but, but i mean do you take advice from them or do you have your again your own positive view that of how I take it, well it done? depends on who it is i mean uh, do i take advice from any man that's wearing a suit no yeah. not necessarily but i mean you are a strong person. You do have strong opinions. Yeah. Uh, you're open to, to advice. Yeah. But you must have your own opinion all the time. Well, yeah, of course. But that's, that'll usually be the one that wins, won't it? Well, no. I mean, in terms of money, my business manager knows a lot more. So I very often listen to his advice. I'm just saying it's, 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 it's hard for me to, be, to stay interested for very long in money issues. Of course, it, it, is, it, is, it isn't usual for somebody who's, who is a performer, who is mm -hmm. an artist, to be able to... To have that head, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. It's almost impossible to keep the two going. Yeah. So you have to have people around you that you can trust. Absolutely. And yeah. you have people around mm -hmm. you. Yes, is, is money important to you? Only when I want to buy a painting that's very expensive. <laughs> yeah. Good. Then it's important. But honestly, I, I, not that important, no. Could you go back to being what you were without any money, without position, without people running around after you? I, I could never go back to what I was. I don't think anyone can. If, if it all fell down tomorrow, if... If, um, if it all fell down tomorrow, <coughs> I'd still have all the money that I've earned. I'd still have my friends. I'd still have my family. So I wouldn't have to work another day in my life. I could live a perfectly wonderful life. Do you ever feel like doing that? Mm-hmm. Do you ever feel like giving it up? I mean, do you ever feel, oh, God, I'm fed up with this? Yeah, sometimes I do, yeah. Because I work really hard, and uh, sometimes I think I don't enjoy my success enough, or I don't have enough time to just kick back and have a good time. Uh, but I think, you know, oh, I have, oh, well, maybe I should just go live in a cabin in Louisiana or something, you know? But I, I know I would, you know what, I would go live in a cabin in Louisiana, I'd start organizing the farm, you know what I mean? I would, eventually, my personality <laughs> traits would come out again, you know? So, it's no, how long is it since you've had a holiday, for goodness sake? Um, God. <laughs> well, on Easter weekend, I, I went away for the weekend. <laughs> so that was my last holiday. Yeah. Is there a danger that you take yourself too seriously? Me? Yeah. Oh, no. No, I never do. Are you able to get up in the morning, look at yourself and... And go, fall around what a dog. Stuff? Yes, quite. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do that every morning. <laughs> <laughs> and what about the fitness? You're jogging in the morning that you do. You run for six miles, don't you? Sometimes more. It, it, it's doing me... It's actually a, a time when I meditate. So it, it, spiritually, it's great for me. It's when I sort of tune everything out. All the problems, all the stress, all the requests, all the demands, all the expectations, and I just run. It's very... It sounds really corny, but it's really zen-like. You know what I mean? It's the time that I escape. And uh, so it does me a lot of good.